I am honored to be joined by Ingeborg Holkmeyer. She is the founder and CEO of Medel. Thank you so much for joining me today. First off, welcome to Toronto. You've come a long way, halfway around the world. How important is CI 2016 to you? It is quite important. It's a, a CI conference, a big CI conference, uh, in a long series of such conferences that have been ongoing for many years. And it's a wonderful opportunity to meet uh, a big number of professionals who are all here to exchange their new uh, knowledge and the, the evidence that he, they have collected since the last meeting. And the nicest thing is to see how motivated most of them are to make progress in our field, to bring the technology, the therapy with hearing implants to more and more people around the world. You invented the modern CI and it was implanted for the first time in the world in 1977. What motivated you then? And is it the same thing that motivates you now? What motivated me and my husband then uh, was stubbornness of the inventor. We wanted to bring this invention to people in need of it to improve the quality of their life. But in the meantime, the team has grown a lot. And so now my mission in life really is to be a good CEO and to grow this company that consists of a team of genuinely motivated, uh, real experts in the field. From what I understand, Medel's new products are designed to be back compatible as well as future ready. How important is this? It's very important and it has always been like that. The patients who received a multi-channel implant in, let's say, 1994, they can still be upgraded to the newest uh, sound processors and then profit from the research that's been ongoing in the meantime. I want to talk about the latest innovations. So let's talk about synchrony and how MRI compatibility is so important. Why have you chosen to focus on this? Well, because um, MRI is going to be a diagnosis that almost everyone will have to go through once in their life or several times in their life to improve the safety of MRI or the MRI safety of our devices is also a challenging engineering goal. Uh, so um, we've really concentrated on that and made some progress with the latest technology. From what I understand, Medel invests 15 to 20 percent of the profits back into research and development. How important is this? And talk about the new building as well. Yeah, we've uh, moved into our new R&D building, which allows for our about 280 uh, people in R&D to have good communication, and it stands for transparency, that building as well, and for cooperation among the many teams in research and development. And R&D is the heart of it. It leads to innovation. We need to be innovative because the call is um, to increase value for patients mm -hmm. at a good price. That's what we are here for, to enable bringing this technology to many, many people more quickly. I notice you talk a lot about the heart of what you do and the passion involved. I can tell that this really comes from a real place for you. Can you talk a bit about that? Well, it's all about bringing technology to uh, patients, to human beings who can profit from it. That's uh, quite rewarding. And then uh, hearing loss is a hidden uh, disability. But many, many people suffer from hearing loss. And nowadays, it's really not necessary to remain with a hearing loss and not do something about it. It sometimes takes years for them to decide for an implant. They have questions, they have excuses, they have worries. And then when they do get an implant, they say, I should have gone for it much earlier. There is so much to gain and very little to lose, so they should go for a cochlear implant as quickly as possible when that child is still very, very young because then it has better chances for good benefit quickly. And actually the sad story is that there are still so many children around the world being born deaf 
who indeed have no access to this uh, therapy yet, and we are permanently working on this together with the professionals in many, many uh, countries. We need to support each and every action, uh, positive action, that's uh, uh, upcoming in the field of hearing implants, really. That's true, because it seems like when you get an implant, it doesn't just end there. You need the support in the years to come and the proper access to that. What, what do you want to see happen that hasn't happened yet? Well, I mean, it's twofold. Um, on one hand, it's bringing the technology to more people. And on the other hand, it's uh, further improving the, uh, the therapy uh, in all aspects of it and the training uh, about it such that uh, professionals are more likely to get into our field and uh, be effective in our field. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. It's been a pleasure to talk with you and best of luck at CI 2016. Thank you. <laughs>